Well, praise the Lord and good evening and welcome to the Encouraging Word broadcast. And tonight we're going to be taking a look at John chapter 3 verses 15 and 16. Uh, but before we do that, let's go to God in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you this night for your goodness, mercy, love, kindness, compassion towards us. Lord, we pray that you would bless your word tonight. Lord, I pray that you would uh, help each one just learn more about you. And we just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, tonight, John chapter 3, verses 15 and 16, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, everlasting life is a free gift given by God. He He gave his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Uh, he gave his life on the cross for our sins. You know, today we look at salvation is not what you can do with your hands. You can't work for it. You can't um, get out there and earn it. It is what God has given uh, through through faith in his son, Jesus Christ. And so today, you know, our, our for us, we need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And it says, just like the scripture says, that so whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. So believing on the Lord. You know, this evening, that was interesting because we were cleaning out our... Uh, clean out our garage area here and we have a we have an exercise bike it's you know it's a gold's gym exercise bike it's um probably worth you know i don't know um you know 100 150 bucks something like that anyway um i wanted to give this thing away i wanted to donate it and i went to several businesses all around town actually four businesses all around town to donate this and it's been working and it's in great condition and nobody wanted to take it. They're like, oh, no, we, 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 uh, we don't, you know, we don't have room. Or, um, no, the other business, they, they're not taking large stuff, so we're getting too much, and now we don't have room. And, and so it was one excuse after another as to why they didn't want it. And this was, you know, you know, worth, it was definitely worth something for, for somebody, you know, to have. So uh, we decided to actually take it and uh, use it somewhere else. So we're going to use it uh, now because nobody else would take it. So we take it and we're going to we're going to have a, another location and we'll use it. But the, the sad thing about it is it's it's like that when you offer people God's offer that he he offers to each one of us is eternal life. You know, there's so many out there today that will make one excuse after another as to, well, we we don't want this free gift because, you know, of this reason or that reason or the other reason. But yet God is still faithful. He offers this to us, you know, eternal life, you know, which is no value you can ever put on that. Eternal life is is beyond any value. I mean, it's it, for one human being. The cost that Jesus paid on the price and uh, on the cross for our sins, the price that he paid on on the cross is, is man, I mean, you can't even wrap your mind around what that cost God to give his only son. And yet so many people today refuse to accept Jesus, refuse to walk with him, refuse to have eternal life, which God offers. You know, God's not willing that any perish, but all come to repentance. God wants each person to come to Jesus Christ to have life. And yet so many people don't. And so many people leave this world without Jesus, without eternal life, and without hope. But today God offers you. In his word, he said, come now, let us reason together. Though your sins be as scarlet, they'll be as white as snow. He offers you eternal life through faith in his son. There is one name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved, and that is Christ Jesus. That is Jesus, our Lord and Savior. So today, put your faith, trust in Jesus Christ. Uh, don't uh, don't think you're going to get to heaven on your own merits, or on your own good works. It doesn't work like that. It only works through faith in Jesus Christ, the one way to heaven. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. All right. Well, God bless you guys. I pray you have a wonderful night in Jesus, and uh, we'll see you again. God bless.